Hello friends, welcome back to our channel and to a new lesson. So, we have something just a little bit different uh, this time, okay? And the title, let me mention the title first, College Roommates. That is the title of our listening activity, okay? So let's go ahead and go to our clear learning target. I can answer oral questions after listening to a conversation. Do you want to read it with me? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. One, two, three. I can answer oral questions after listening to a conversation. So this deserves an introduction. So first of all, I'm going to tell you that I got this conversation from um, this website, Randall's ESOL Cyber Listening Lab. It's a great, great place if you want to practice your listening skills. So let me introduce this, the activities for today. So first, you're going to watch a very short conversation between two friends. And after that, there are six questions. Now, the questions are going to be oral. And I'm going to only ask them once, okay? So you have to listen carefully. First to the conversation and then to each question. Now, my recommendation, friends, is that you take some notes. Um, so that way it will be easier for you to remember some of the details, okay? Uh, remember, the questions will be oral, but your answers need to be written down, okay? Are you ready? Okay, so we are going to begin with a... Um, with a small activity, this is a warm up. See how we do it. So the first thing that I'm going to ask you is look at this illustration and name five different things that you see in this picture. Okay, so I'm just pause the video and come back to our lesson whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, if you need more time, you can always pause it a little longer, okay? But let's go ahead and continue with our lesson. So here is a conversation between two friends. Remember that the title is College Roommates. Uh, 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 uh. It's good to be up. What a beautiful morning. Uh, it's a quarter to two. It's not the morning at all. What are you doing in the kitchen anyway? Well, I'm going to make breakfast and check my email to see if anyone has responded to my advertisement for a new roommate. Right. <laughs> right. What do you mean, right? Well, listen, who's going to want to live with you? You can't even take care of yourself. What are you talking about? I get up early every morning at six o'clock. Uh, add about six hours to that. And I always make nutritious meals. Uh, I don't think McDonald's Big Macs and fries count. And I keep my room very tidy. Uh, I think I saw some old dishes, empty pizza boxes, and some real dirty socks under your bed. And I go to bed at a very early hour. Do you call midnight early? Listen, give it up. Unless you make some major changes in your life, your only companion will be your pet fish, Ralph. <laughs> okay, I hope you were able to enjoy our uh, video. Now we're going to begin with our questions. So remember, I will ask the question orally. And then you can pause the video to uh, give us your answer, okay? Okay, so let's go to question number one. Question number one. Listen carefully and then choose your answer down here, okay? So this is where you are going to enter your answer every single time. So here we go. Question number one. What time does the man really get up in the morning? Uh, 
Okay, let's go now to question number two. What does the man usually eat? Very nice. Remember to enter your answer right in this location. Okay, it's good to follow instructions. And now we are in question number three. What does the man's bedroom look like? Okay, let's continue. We are now doing question number four. What does the man have under his bed? Ready for question five? Here we go. What time does the man go to bed? So just want to remind you to enter your your answers right on this section, okay? And here we have our last question. Question number six. What do you usually eat for dinner? Excellent. So this, friends, is an activity. Okay, so this activity, um, you have to drag these little boxes on this side to complete the sentences on this side using the vocabulary words that I have added right here. Okay, now to complete this activity, you, your PowerPoint cannot be on presentation, meaning that it has to be like this, and then you can just click on it and drag it to complete your sentences. Okay, so how about you pause your video one or two minutes and complete the sentences. So I am going to go ahead and read the sentences for you. And if you want, you can repeat after me. How did you make that blank salad? If there are any blank problems with the apartment, please let me know. We want you to be satisfied. Please come home by blank. I don't want you to stay out later than that. Did your mom blank to your text message? My grandmother always keeps her living room very blank. It is always neat. Okay, friends. And with that, we have arrived at the end of another wonderful lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.